Yeah, just, here we go. Gospel of Luke 4, verses 16 through 30. When Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given him. And he unrolled the scroll, found the place where it had been written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release of the captives and recovery of the sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and he sat down and all eyes of the synagogue was fixed on him. Then he began to say to them, today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came out of his mouth. They said, Is not this Joseph's son? He said to them, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb. Doctor, cure yourself. And you will say, Do hear in your hometown the things we heard you did at Capernaum. And he said to them, truly I tell you, no prophet is worth welcome in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel in the time of Elijah, when the heaven shut up for three years and six months and there was severe famine over all the land. Yet Elijah was sent to none of them except to a, a widow at Zarephath in Sidon. And there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet. And none of them was cleansed, except Naaman, the Syrian. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. They got up, drove him out of town, took him to the brow of the, of the hill where their town was built, so that they might hurl them off the cliff. But he passed through their midst and went on his way. Amen.